Healthy rivers are necessary for supporting life on Earth. They help maintain healthy ecosystems and a balanced climate. Yet the world's last free-flowing rivers are being sacrificed for the illusion of clean energy. Nowadays, it's become common to hear government officials, corporate leaders, and even international institutions like the World Bank tell us that large hydroelectric dams are a source of clean and green energy, urgently needed as an alternative to fossil fuels to help resolve the climate crisis. There are a few problems with that. The truth is that dams destroy rivers, devastate lives, produce methane, and fuel rampant corruption around the world. In terms of climate change, they do nothing. Well, that's not entirely true. Dams actually contribute to global warming, principally in tropical regions like the Congo and the Amazon. Rotting vegetation and flooded forests produce methane, a powerful global warming gas. Methane is much more powerful than carbon dioxide in uh, provoking global warming. Per ton, methane is actually 34 times more potent a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. Studies have shown that because of this, the world's dams are actually responsible for as much global warming emissions as global aviation. Hydroelectric dams are always, or almost always, presented as green energy that doesn't have any impact on global warming. And people have heard that so many times that they believe it and they've never heard any of the other information. What's more, dams are highly vulnerable to climate change themselves. Changing rainfall patterns means dams are often left high and dry and without water, unable to produce energy. Or they can worsen floods, sending cities into chaos while destroying lives and livelihoods. Worse, we lose much more. We lose the world's last free-flowing rivers. Wild rivers are the lifelines for many local communities and indigenous cultures. Ninguém vive sem água. Ninguém. Nós não vive sem água, então o rio para nós é importante. Porque dele nós pegamos peixe, que o pessoal come peixe, muito peixe, e o branco tá querendo acabar com com esses peixes. Construction of dams also contribute to unacceptable and bloody conflicts. <laughs> Building dams often trample human rights and further alienate the displaced and the already disenfranchised. So why? Some politicians and corporations want us to believe that the construction of monster dams in the 21st century is good. And that's true, it's good for them. In the Brazilian Amazon, construction of the world's third largest hydroelectric dam is nearly complete. And now we learn that it wasn't necessarily energy nor the need to protect the Earth's climate that drove this multi-billion dollar project. It was corruption. Brazil is mired in one of the largest corruption scandals in its history, all connected to the energy sector. Belo Monte, the politicians and construction companies behind the dam, are all implicated. The dam is also over budget, fought with all sorts of environmental crimes, it generated social conflicts, as well as warnings and reprimands from international human rights institutions. Still, the Brazilian government wants to repeat the process and build even more dams in the Amazon. And we're not talking just one or two, we are talking dozens. The sales pitch is always the same. Dams are green. Governments around the world are looking to build thousands of dams over the coming decades, choking the world's last remaining rivers, generating conflicts, while using the fight against climate change as the excuse. This has to stop. 
viva a nossa luta! People from around the globe are mobilizing to stop the construction of mega dams, to protect thousands of communities around the world, and to highlight that there are real green alternatives to tackling the climate problem. The good news is that wind and solar power have become cheaper and readily available. In addition, as electrical grids become smarter and battery storage better, new hydro projects really are no longer needed. Still, there's more to do. The financing of large dams through climate initiatives takes away support for real solutions, while building on the illusion that governments are actually tackling climate change. In the Climate Convention, mega dams must not be included in incentives mechanisms like the Green Climate Fund. Nations around the world also need to adopt transparent and participatory decision-making in the energy sector, putting an end to closed-door planning dominated by narrow corporate and political interests. Today, more than ever, we need to encourage world leaders to start a clean energy revolution. Our future depends on it. To start, let us finally drop this nonsense that dams produce green energy. There's nothing green about destroying biodiversity and destroying lives.